Zionfestival.org, and I'm at Uradayama, Uradayama Close. It's your, your, your Yama. There's three nights before the processions on the 17th. And uh, Uradayama is quite an exquisite place. That's an actual shrine behind me. The street outside is super busy, and you come in here, and it's a real peaceful oasis. I highly recommend visiting the smaller Yama. They give a real sense of the neighborhood feeling that Gion Festival patrons say the festival used to be like when they were younger. The deity for Radayama is Jingu Kogo. Every float has a different theme or deity that it celebrates. And Jingu Kogo, that's Empress Jingu. She's a very early Japanese empress around the 4th or 5th century. And she was more like a tribal chieftain and a kind of shamaness. And Urade means a kind of uh, fortune telling. She wondered whether she should go to what's the modern day Korean peninsula. And uh, she fished for, to, uh, to see whether or not she should go. And she caught a fish, which to her meant that she should go. She went there and they say that she conquered the what was then the Sila Kingdom without a battle and came back with boats laden with treasure. So she was considered a very powerful woman. Uh, because of this, because she was a woman and powerful, over the years, different festival goers have gifted really sumptuous kimonos and I don't know if you can get a sense behind me there's some of the she has a magnificent kimono collection it's a lot of different treasures here and because she went to supposedly conquer the Sila kingdom though she did it without fighting there is also a sword here that the statue of Empress Jingu carries. So a woman with a sword and beautiful kimonos. Once more, this is Uradeyama celebrating Empress Jingu in the beautiful display area. Very peaceful. Awesome. To learn more, check out gionfestival.org.